In this video, we're gonna be exploring Claude in your browser. That's right, Claude can live directly inside Chrome. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set it up, what it can do, what it can't do, and what it kind of really lacks, and how I'm integrating this into my workflow, which these days is predominantly Claude-centric when it comes to AI tooling for my day-to-day -day work of content creation, marketing, sales, ops, and even product. Hey, I'm Craig Hewitt, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about how we can best use AI to create better for ourselves, for our businesses, for our lives, for our families, create more profit uh, and more happiness. And we do that through product, sales, marketing, ops, everything. Uh, and let's dive in to explore exactly kind of what Claude in the browser looks like. So I open up Claude and I get this. Get more done with Claude in your browser. Claude can now research, fill out forms, click through all this stuff. Do we want to install Claude in the inside Chrome? Yeah, we do. We do. Please take me there. Plug me in. Okay, so this is going to the Chrome Web Store. Add my extension. And just for context, I am on the Claude Max, like $200 a month plan because I use the heck out of it in Claude code. Uh, so this might may or may not be available to you based on where you are and kind of what plan you're on. Uh, okay, so Claude in your Chrome. This is a beta, right? So I think that's a fair a fair uh, description here. And so give it a challenge. Your inbox is full of meeting RSVPs. You can cl uh, have Claude archive these. Cool, okay, that's cool. Uh, so this is just like gonna go through and, and do this. Yep, it's fairly standard beta disclosure here. And I think the one thing that's really important for everyone is to understand malicious actors can hide instructions in websites, emails, and documents to trick AI into taking harmful actions without your knowledge. This is the big concern. And we're going to click learn more here because I really want to like clue in on this because like hijacking a website with a Chrome extension that's connected to AI is the big fear for a lot of folks. And so like use this or not use this, depending on kind of like your risk profile and stuff and the types of websites and the sensitivity of the information on those sites, like maybe this isn't for you, right? Uh, and so Claude, as always, I think is very transparent in how they approach all this, has a very detailed doc here. Uh, Claude code, okay, Claude, Chrome extension now work together. Build with Claude code in your terminal, test and verify the browser. Cool, so this is kind of, it's counter to cursor in their built-in browser uh, kind of agent inside cursor. That's cool, so we might play around with that here in a bit. Uh, record a workflow, console log schedules. Oh, that's cool, like so the big thing in debugging and software is like, okay, I'm gonna go and like inspect, you know, this page. Uh, and then hit the console over here to look for like errors and stuff that's happening. Assuming now like the Chrome extension can do all of that. And we'll fire up VS Code or cursor here in a minute in one of my projects and we'll take a look at what this looks like uh, in reality. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so fairly standard disclaimer here. Uh, they always have a ask before acting. Okay, cool. So let's see like what this, what this can do. Uh, find apartments matching preferences, find availability times. Summarize and generate actions from feedback, convert leads into sales, find restaurants. Let's do this one, find restaurants. Uh, so first I have to say, I understand. Automate your repetitive tasks. Claude has a tab access, fine. Use shortcuts to save time. Oh, that's cool. So I can do slash sales lead slash unsubscribe. That's great, I really like that. Okay, so it's saying navigate to DoorDash, find a highly rated duck restaurant in San Francisco. Yep, approve plan, make it happen. So it's using the Haiku 4.5 model, which makes sense. Like this is not terribly complicated. I think the bigger thing is like, how do we navigate clicking around all the DOM elements and stuff here? Uh, okay, so this is interesting. This is a new, technically a new window here. How is it gonna deal with this? Like it hasn't clicked any of these yet. So, you know, it should pick one of my, <laughs> my many email addresses uh, to continue with. It's not asking me to, so I'll just go ahead and do it. So we're signing in now, yes, that's fine. Uh, okay, so we're on a new page here. Oh my goodness. What's going on? So we're on two different pages here, uh, or windows at the same time. Okay, so it closed that one, that's great. Um, oh, it didn't close it, it opened it back up. Uh, okay, so I don't think it's working in this one at all. It just wants to work here. Uh, cool, searching for garlic noodle products, that's great. Okay, cool, so it's doing a good job here, that's great. Let's see. Oh, so this is the Claude Chrome tab kind of collection here. That's cool. So let's just start a new tab in this collection. And let's, what do we want to do? Let's open the news. 
which is a terrible <laughs> idea generally. <laughs> let's open the news and um, and see, let's see, what do we do? Do we do slash Claude? Uh, hmm. How do we how do we invoke Claude on this page? I'm not really sure. So I have this. How do I how do I launch Claude on this page? Hmm, on this other page. So I, I'm over here. So Claude is a Chrome extension. So if I click here, okay, so I have to click this. Hmm. Can research across multiple sites. Okay, open. I'd love to have a keyboard shortcut. Oh, it's only able to do one site at a time? Hmm, okay. So let's see, uh, we had a very, very unfortunate situation here where I, I live in Providence, Rhode Island. We had a shooting over the weekend. I wanna see what the latest is about this. So let's see how it handles this. This is like launching a new action. No, it's not gonna let me do anything until it finishes. So that's a little, uh, nope, that's not what I want. Teach Claude, record, hmm, okay. Well, so I can't do multiple things at a time because it's still searching for garlic noodles. Okay, you know, I, I love Claude. Like it's my daily driver these days. This does remind me a bit of, uh, of ChatGPT, which is like a four letter word, uh, you know, and it's, and it's agent stuff. Okay, let's, let's try something else. Let's, let's stop this because this is just not happening. Let's go to LinkedIn. Let's see how it handles LinkedIn. Find uh, 10 leads that are CTO level. Um, let me hide my chats here so you all don't see my chats. At US-based tech companies with more than 100 employees. Let's see how it does here. So it should know we're on LinkedIn because it's in the browser. LinkedIn.com, navigate to LinkedIn. Okay, cool. Yep, let's do that. So if y'all have used this a lot, uh, drop in the comments below, like, am I missing it with like, I can't have multiple tabs going? I feel like that would be crazy if I can't have multiple tabs. All right, so it's doing its thing. Let, let, let's try to get another tab going here. Um, so we have this, I wanna open up a new kind of instance of Claude, but it's already open in this tab group. Hmm, okay, so I wonder if I need to like open a tab outside the tab group. Uh, let's see, so I go do this. Let's open a new tab here. And let's see, what should we do? Uh, let's go to Twitter. Okay, so we're in Twitter and let's open up the side over here. Okay, cool, so this is like a new tab group. So I have one tab group here, I have another tab group here. And let's say I just did a cool thing where I installed Claude Code on my phone. So I wanna find articles or posts about Claude Code. So we'll use Whisperflow. I want to find all articles about installing Claude code in the cloud so that I can access it on my phone. Cool. So, you know, how, how I don't know, how important is this? Like, I could just do this, right? Oh, so it's, oh, it's navigating to Google. Hmm, okay, that's fine. Um, let's have it book some flights for us. That would be cool. Oh, so it's, it launched a new browser tab over here. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so from here, it's like doing a bunch of stuff in different tabs. That's cool. Okay, let's launch another one. Uh, we're gonna go to Europe this summer. I want it to, hmm, okay, what do I wanna do? Uh, so, you know, I'm just on the kind of homepage here. What I wanna do is like uh, say, find me direct flights from Boston to Madrid the week of 4th of July. Um, that is business class on the way there and economy on the way back for four people. Cool. Let's see how that goes. Cool, so it's searching Claude Code on the web. Okay. So it'll be interesting to see what this comes back with. We do have like multiple things going on. I think that's kind of the thing with agents. It's like, is any of this faster than me just doing this? No, but you know, now I'm working in parallel, not in... Yeah, series, right? I have multiple of these things going on at once. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, what I wanna do is go back to the Claude page to see what other kinds of stuff they suggest doing here. So, oh, the Claude code integration, right? That's cool. So, do, 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 do. connector is Claude comb configure. I think we already did that. 
permissions, the side panel, tab groups, tabs, alarms, fine. Did it, did it, multi-tab functionality, enhanced site navigation, background workflows, visual context sharing, image uploads. Cool. Okay, so let's pull up uh, cursor and one of my projects, and we're going to do some like front end design and see how it handles it. Okay, so we have one of my mini projects uh, open. This is a Next.js app, and uh, we're going to run the dev server here, and we're going to see what it wants to do. Okay, so cool. First thing, it's like, hey, I want to open the cursor browser. Uh, I'm going to say, no, I don't want to open that. I want to open the regular browser, uh, but it just didn't do that. Uh, open external browser. Uh, okay, so this is like localhost 3000. And okay, so we're connected here and this is all working. Let's see, like, do we have any ish errors or issues here right now? Do we have any like, uh, nope, we don't have any errors. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing actually. Uh, okay, so let's find something kind of front end-esque that, that we can do. Hmm. Let's say I want to create screenshots of the application and put them on the marketing page. So let's just tell Claude. It's it's smart, right? Claude's pretty smart. Let's just tell it that. Um, I want to create some screenshots of the application and the dashboard, and I want to use those on the marketing site. So go into the application, uh, create a state as a user where you have some data, maybe run reports or do whatever you do. Uh, create three different screenshots from the application and then make those screenshots like look really good. So like frame them in a, in a Mac browser window or something like that. Uh, but I want you to go to the browser. You can use Playwright or you can use Claude uh, in Chrome because I have the Chrome extension installed now. You can use either of those. Uh, so go into the application, find interesting screenshots, take three different screenshots of different parts of the application make them look really good, and then put them on the homepage of the marketing site. That's pretty, uh, that's a pretty big task. <laughs> so let's see, let's see how it does, right? So I told it it can use Playwright. Playwright is an MCP server that uses the browser. So maybe the Chrome extension of Claude makes that uh, irrelevant. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I've literally never done this, um, but, but we're kind of, uh, we're learning as we go here. So uh, let me read the key dashboard pages and understand what context we're working with. Okay, fine. So as it's doing that, let's go back here and see if we have any flights. So, oh, yep, approved plan. Okay, so let's see about direct. Okay, so this is where we asked it, how can we put it, set up Claude on our phone? Yeah, none of these are right. So this is a little disappointing. Uh, I used regular Claude to just ask it this morning and it told me. So this is a little disappointing. Hmm. Yeah, this is not, you know, like this is just not right. Okay, so, okay, it did go find leads for me. So these are CTOs of US companies. So that's cool. Uh, Scott Ewell. Oh, I know Scott. That's cool. <laughs> Hi, Scott. Hope you're, hope you're watching. Um, Okay, that's cool. Uh, okay, so, you know, for lead gen, maybe this is like really good then. Um, that's pretty cool. So, you know, you could then ask it like, okay, now get contact information. So, you know, it should be able to navigate to their profile and LinkedIn has all of our email addresses. And so you can kind of scrape those. That'd be cool. Uh, okay, so it's getting my flights from Boston to Madrid. That's cool. Over a 4th of July week. I was a little vague, right? So I don't know if it knows kind of when 4th of July week is and that 4th of July should land within that week. I don't even know if it's the weekend right now uh, or this year. So that, that'll be interesting. Let's go back to Cursor. Oh, I don't have Playwright installed in this repo. That's crazy. I would have surely thought I did. I don't know that this is the command for installing Playwright. That's interesting. Uh, so let's go back to the browser and see how we install Playwright. Because it's um, like in Claude code, it, it's like a different thing, right? Um, I guess, like, okay, it's, a, it's an NPM package now. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so that's cool. Let's come back here and see. So understand the database schema, it creates screenshot script. I need to send test data. Okay, cool, that's great. Um, it creates uh, screenshots from the dashboard pages. Cool, great. So, I mean, that's a big thing with like any kind of images. It's like, okay, gosh, I gotta get, like, get, the, get the product in the right state to create the images that make sense to convey the value. So that's cool. Um, 
Let me go back here and see how we're doing. So do we have leads yet? Oh my gosh, this approving the plan is killing me. Uh, you know, I think I do think like uh, for safety reasons, this is the, the way to go, right? We don't want it to just do stuff, but you will just have to remember to go and uh, approve the plan so it can go to work. That's interesting. This was a failure. Um, so that that's not great. I don't want it alive here anymore. Close this. How are we doing on flights? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is how browser tabbing works. Okay, so, okay, it's, you know, rather sophisticated. Like it has to click this button to go to the right here. That's cool. And let's go back to cursor and see what it's doing. Do we wanna, yeah, come on, man. Just make it happen. So, you know, I think like as we're, as we're kind of into this, like when would you use a browser-based agent? Um, when you want it to go online and do stuff, like I think I think the finding flights example is probably a pretty good one. Like go do this thing, navigate all these pages and just tell me the answer. It sure enough is taking a long time. You know, I definitely could have done this faster just by myself, but you know, maybe if it's a long complicated thing and I can just go multitask, then it's not that big a deal. How's it doing over here with like getting leads? Oh, sorry, Christian, uh, <laughs> put your phone number out there. So uh, yeah, I mean, that's that that works, right? So I'll, you know, I'll get a lead, a list of like 10 leads and I can call these people or, or email them or whatever. That's cool. Um, I'm really most interested in this one to see if or how, bro, it is already running. Okay, so we're gonna run this cool screen capture script. This is cool, I wanna see how this does. I wonder what will happen. Will it load a new Chrome instance? Will it use our existing Chrome instance? Uh, I don't know, let's go back over here and keep an eye on things maybe. Uh, so it does have these like bundling of places in uh, Chrome where Claude is active. So we can just click on these. These are like browser tabs, you know, that's pretty cool. Let's go back over here and see what is going on. Is this creating browser mockup? Okay, so public slash screenshots. So let's just see what we got here. Okay, yeah, not bad. So it did, it went and grabbed content. Okay, so like it did, it did a pretty good job. That's cool. I have to say it did a pretty good job. I don't think it used my Chrome and <laughs> and uh, and the Chrome extension for Claude. Uh, so so that's you know that's something. Um, I, I think we'll we'll probably stop here. So like uh, so where does this leave us? Like uh, the thing I like about it is it's using your Chrome. So as opposed to a lot of agents, where like I'm logged in here in Google Travel. Uh, that's cool. So you don't have to worry about like authentication and sharing passwords and things like that. That's really powerful. Um, Presumably also it like data shares across things like Claude code and Claude in your browser, like in the Claude chat in your browser. That's really powerful. I think this, this like, um, it's one of the reasons I really like Google in the AI world right now is like, they're sharing all the data across all their platforms and all the places you work, super powerful. Is it there yet? And like, no, like it's still stuck on this one here. Um, like, do we have contact information for all these? Like, I don't really know. Like, it doesn't seem like it. You know, it, it's kind of throwing up on some of this stuff. But uh, do I like the way this is heading? Yeah. Uh, do I believe in the future? Like, we just won't be using browsers and we'll just be talking to agents? Yeah. And this is probably the first step. And so encourage you to check it out. Encourage you to be safe because, like, sure enough, like, there are security concerns with AI and agents accessing websites and your websites where you've securely logged in and you might not want to give them access. So would would definitely uh, urge some caution in adopting this. And I don't say that very often <laughs> with AI, uh, but I want to hear like what you have to say, what's your experience with the Chrome extension for Claude in the browser? How are you using it? What are you using it for? Drop a comment in below so we can all like level up together and we'll see you next time.